Good morning, good morning, good morning, beautiful people. Good afternoon, good evening. No matter what time it is, just know this is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it. As always, God is good and he is good all the time. I don't care if you lost your job. I'm I'm talking to that situation and I say, I got employment. Whatever employment I want, I'm going to speak it. That thing that is not as if it is. Because that's what faith is. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. I'm elevating my feet. I just got out the bath. I had a an amazing workout yesterday. I'm not thinking. Uh, had two workouts back to back. Some other freaking. I'm feeling it this morning, so I'm just taking it easy. Probably take it to. You know, probably I'm taking today off and uh, gonna do some work around the house. But as I was like in the tub. This doesn't sound safe, okay? This doesn't sound safe. But I was in the tub bathing, working on my laptop, editing a video that I'm going to post to my YouTube. And I was just thinking, like, like, dang. There's this young lady who not too long ago I was talking to, and she was talking about getting this event together. And, um... She was talking about getting this event together. It's similar to mine. It's an athletic event and all this other stuff, right? And But I noticed that when I see her, you know, like, make posts on social media or what have you, like, none of it is really tailored to that event, you know, for the community. Like, when I went and talked to her, you know, she was giving me the cliche speech that everybody likes to give when they create something that is to benefit them it's to monopolize you know what they got going on is to fill their pockets and all that stuff so she gave me the same speech everybody gives you know i want to put this event together i want to put this event together because you know i want to give people things to say or people things to do here in rochester a lot of people and i hear this a lot she say you know, people in Rochester, they talk about there's nothing to do here, and then, but they don't create anything to do here. They don't support one another, blah, 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 blah. But a lot of the times when I look out here and I see who's actually doing legitimate community outreach or anything for the community, the ones that have, like, these large support systems, sponsorships, fundings, these a lot of the times aren't people who's doing it with the right intentions, right? You got people all over the place that cause themselves wanting to get into community activism, community organizations, you know what I'm saying? Community engagement. They always want to do something with the community. Even when we talk about like police reform, you know what I'm saying? That's one of the aspects that's always mentioned. They always talk about, well, how do we engage the community with this institution, with these people? And the thing of the, the the truth of the matter is is that no there's no true like community engagement because you're not reaching out to the community and saying, Well, what is it that you wanna do? What is it that you wanna see more of? The stuff that we create and we offer to the community, we say we do it for them, but the whole time nigga we doing it for ourselves. It's for boasting rights, you know, so when we end up on some other freaking news or some you know some interviews some podcasts you can run down the list of all the things that you have achieved and accomplished and the, the craziest thing to me is that when people have this like thick old motherfucking rundown of all the stuff that they have accomplished in their lives i was the director of this i motherfucking i was doing this in the jails i was giving out food i got this that and the third title i did this that and the third and then when you actually trace the like paperwork behind it, you really realize whole time niggas is just sitting in their position twiddling their thumbs, right? I mean, we currently, and when I say we, I mean as in like us Rochesterians, right? We currently have a mayor 
that became our mayor in every position he held prior to that. He either did absolutely nothing or his contributions were more negative and harmful than positive. Yet, niggas voted for him for the for the mayor because they wanted to get rid of the one that we had before. And it, to me, it just never makes any sense. You're so desperate to get one to get rid of one terrible that you would mother freaking bring in a whole new terrible. But this is what we do. And when you look at this nigga, Malik Evans on paper, the nigga is stacked. He look amazing. He look amazing. And this is why people flocked to him and voted for him. Because on paper, he look amazing. But that's the thing about it. Is that a lot of people overlook the fact that y'all look amazing on paper. Right? But when we check the legitimacy of that stuff, man, you're a waver. Like the Bible says that man looks on the outside appearance, but God looks at your heart. Right? On the outside, we see all these things that they presume to be doing. And, oh, I'm doing this for the community. I'm doing this for the people. I did this when I was at city council. I started this nonprofit organization. I helped this community, you know, get grant funding. And whole time is just boasting and bragging rights for them. It ain't got, I mean, the benefits that it has to the little people are so minute is ridiculous, right? It's the same thing with all this, the bail reform and, you know, all this positive legislation that they're passing, right? It's, it's crazy. It's mother freaking crazy. Be careful with these people out here, man, because I come in contact with too many of them. And they're the first ones that want to cry and say that don't nobody support them. And I'm not going to knock it, right? I've done stuff where the support has been minimal, almost non-existent, right? And that's one of the things that I, I, like, I can attest to. Like, that's legit, right? Because even the Bible says... That a prophet is not accepted in his own home, right? In your own home, you'll feel betrayed. You'll feel like people don't rock with you. People don't support you. But let you go outside of your home. You got you got support. You got people rocking with you. You got followers, the whole nine. But in your own home, it's turmoil, it's tension, it's beef. That's, that's Bible. The Bible said that, that, you know, that would happen. It happened to Jesus. He wasn't accepted in his own home. So I don't take nothing away from that. But I feel like the people who focus so much on this lack of support be the main ones that's out here not supporting other people. And that's why I say you got to be mindful of the people who out here doing things in the name of not even just the community, but doing things in the name of, of servantship, right? They call themselves wanting to lead, but they lacking in servantship. And then when they do participate in servantship, it's like I said, it's it's solely based on bragging rights. The people that have made the most contributions to society has not gone around tooting their own horns. Like half the time, it seems like people just be out here trying to thrive to do something just so they can have something to talk about. Oh, I started this business. I started this LLC just so I could sit here and say, I started an LLC. (laughs) You got people out here saying, you know, I lost weight and all this other stuff. Just to boast and brag about losing weight. And their goal, their end goal is not to benefit nobody but themselves. You boasting and bragging on things does nothing but benefit yourself. And yes, it is possible to give a testimony in which you... Basically, not only do you think on the goodness of Jesus, but you mother freaking put it out there. You say, you know, this is what the Lord done for me. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But the thing about it is that people try to steal God's glory and they don't they don't even be trying to give him his recognition, his props for what he did. Niggas be out here claiming stuff as if they did it at their own their own might, their own strength. And the junk is wild. It's so wild to me. Because it's like, bro, can you wake yourself up in the morning? If your heart was to stop pumping right now, can you get it to start working again? You know what I'm saying? If your brain was to go dead, would you be able to motherfucking revive that joker and get it started? You can't even breathe by yourself, but you think you've accomplished the tasks and, you know, the accolades and accomplishments on your own and at your own expense and strength you're crazy you're crazy and that's what i mean 
that's what I mean about you know by these these people who do things with ill intentions man they do things with ill intentions it's you can't sit here and cry about people not supporting you and not you know providing a support system to you but whole time you not sharing nobody's you know stuff you not telling people about it you're not trying to help them out you're not trying to pay for services and products that they have whole time you're trying to get freebies you know what i'm saying you want people to focus on your situation oh well i got this i'm a single mother i'm a single father i ain't got no job i da 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 i da 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 excuses 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 them junks don't get you nowhere okay look at a nigga who been rendering excuses all their lives they've been sitting in the same predicament all their lives we see it all the time and it's it is very 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 mother freaking noticeable to niggas who actually leave a location and come back to it people who go to go to jail or prison and then they come back people who go to the military and then they come back and they see the same niggas that was doing stuff when they first left are the same niggas doing that same stuff currently right if you want change and it sounds cliche but if you want change nigga you got to be the change that you want because it ain't gonna happen you have to manifest that thing and people like to talk all this weird jargon earth universe vibrations i don't talk like that because at the end of the day i ain't no science major and until i can prove you know what i'm saying until god enlightens me and shows me that this vibrations and universe has something to do with anything I ain't going to give no acknowledgement to that. But I do know that the Bible says, Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Right? The Bible also says to speak things that are not as though they are. The Bible also says to walk by faith and not by sight. The Bible also says the just shall live by faith. I say all that to say this. You want to complain about the terrible situations you are in? I'm a, I'm a witness to it. We manifest a lot of these negative situations because we have these negative counters. You know, we have these negative encounters. And then we mope and we complain about it. And we drag. Drag it out, man. We drag it out. And we put so much of our thought process into it to the point where our entire time, our brain processes are focused on mother freaking worrying right our brain is putting all this this energy into mother freaking worrying being stressed out being anxious and the bible says be anxious for nothing the bible also says to be content in no matter what state you are in so if you allow these scriptures to set in on your mind and your heart then you'll see that a lot of the negativity that we encounter we mother freaking manifesting that stuff ourselves right it's how you see is how you react to something you know once you see it once you process it the bible says walk by faith and not by sight if i encounter a situation that is deemed negative right and i see that it is negative and i treat it as such i can't get mad when that negative situation becomes even more negative why because I'm mother freaking, I'm manifesting it. I'm literally putting everything that I have into it. My physiological functions. I mean, people don't even realize the physiological like actions our body goes through when we mother freaking think, worry, complain. Like they don't even understand the chemicals that we release throughout our bodies and just complain it just looking at a situation and like you put in the, the worst to it you like i can't get through this it's all this negativity i can't i can't i can't there's no way out of this you know what i'm saying this is what i'm supposed to be this is where i'm supposed to be for the rest of my life exhorting all that energy all of those processes into something so negative people don't even realize that they manifest it more negative and then they wonder why you know, some time passed, and then more negativity done entered into their space. And then they're pissed about that. They're anxious about that. They're stressed about that. They're worried about that. They're angry about that. 
and then they're reacting in ways that isn't healthy but it's tailored to how they feel with that mother freaking situation and it's like this never ending cycle that we go through we literally perpetuate the negativity because we are exhorting so much time and energy into something that is so negative when you can do like the bible says walk by faith and not by sight even though you are in a situation that just looks so terrible instead of giving it the glory and saying this the situation is terrible it's rough it's hard i can't get out of this the whole shebang da, 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 da. instead of looking at it like that you could look at it like that you know what this situation may be tough but it ain't like nothing it's, it's not like I can't get through it. You know what I'm saying? This ain't any different from the stuff that I've been through before. I've been through some rough stuff. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, maybe this situation may not be identical to the last one, but I got through the last one. The Bible says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Eventually, it's going to get better. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do like the Bible says. I'm going to speak to things. I'm going to speak to those things as that are not as though they are. I'm going to tell that negative situation, you are better. I don't care if you lost your job. I'm, I'm talking to that situation and I say, I got employment. Whatever employment I want, I'm going to speak it, that thing that is not as if it is. Because that's what faith is. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. People who have not experienced turmoil right don't know what faith is people who have had it easy all their life don't know what faith is people who and when i say easy i'm not talking about people who has not just went through because it's easy to go through something and to give up it's easy to say you know what the situation is terrible i ain't got no job i ain't meant to have no job i'm gonna go to the streets i'm gonna sell my body you know what i'm saying I'm going to do all this foul stuff that's detrimental to my health, to my well-being. I'm going to do all of this because I feel that I can't do any better. you giving the victory to the negativity when you think like that. And that's why Jesus tells us, speak to those things that are not as though they are. Walk by faith and not by sight. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. You speak to your situation. Even though it's not the situation that you want to be in, you speak to that situation as if it is the situation that you want to be in. And at first, it may feel a little silly. I'm telling you, at first, it may feel a little silly. You're going to be like, man, I'm ignoring how I feel. I'm mother freaking disregarding how I feel. But the thing is, that's the whole point. To not give power to that negativity that you're feeling. Because once you give power, once you acknowledge that negativity in the sense that you done gave it power, like, this is what I feel, this ain't, ain't nothing going to come from it. It's one thing to say, you know what, I lost my job, my relationship is, is in, 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 in depreciation with my family, you know what I'm saying, my education, I'm not motivated to go back to, the, to school or to the gym, you know, at this point in time. It's okay to acknowledge it in that way. It's the stuff that comes after. When you drag it out, that's when it becomes unhealthy. To acknowledge it that way is cool. And to come back behind it and say, but I will get a job. I'm going to get a job. I have a job. And all the while, you out here, you know, striving to find employment. You out here working to get an education. Even if it's just taking baby steps. You're doing way better for your situation than you would have been doing if you was moping and complaining about it. You manifest the negativity that, that comes into existence, that comes in the interaction with you, right? When you realize that you change your mindset, like the Bible says, transform by the renewing of your mind. Once you transform your mind, you transform yourself by renewing your mind and you say... I'm not going to look at this situation the, the same way that I used to because the way that I used to, it wasn't working for me. It was making things worse. It was making me sick. You know what I'm saying? It was making me stressed to the point where I was doing things that I should have been chain smoking, mother freaking binge drinking, you know, turning to, to harsh drugs and just, I'm telling you, 
You want to manifest something, manifest positivity. When you come across a situation, speak to that situation that is not as if it is. I did that the entire time during my criminal case, right? The whole time, it looked like the worst. I'm about to be convicted. There's no way out of this. And I kept looking at my situation and I'm like, Lord, this is rough. And I would cry, like break down into tears. And that's when I feel like God really, that's when God really steps in. When you mother freaking really break down and you humble yourself and say, Father, I know that I can't do this on my own. I tried. And look where I'm at. Look where I'm at. I need you to pull me out of this. When you mother freaking accept that fact that you need help humble yourself and you accept the fact that you need to go back to the creator to the maker and say father i need help then your brain starts to change right you start getting these these chemical releases of joy and happiness i'm telling you it happened to me in the middle i was break down crying like lord i'm stressed why does keep happening to me with this criminal stuff like bring me out of it it's been almost two years father get me out of this already crying and crying and crying and by the time i said amen things started to change i started to feel the positivity in my body to the point where i started to speak it out i said father your word says that you are not a man that you should lie nor are you the son of man that you have to repent the bible says that you put your word above your name that word is bomb jesus you are the epiph you are the epitome of word is bomb there is nothing that you have ever said that you went back on your word. There is nothing that you have ever spoken and it fell on deaf ears and it went and it came back void. Never. Every time he put his words out there, his words went out and performed. And that's when I had to think of myself. The Bible says that I am created in their image. I am created in the image of God, the Father, God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He gave me a spirit. That when I read my Bible, my spirit conjures up the words that I read previously in the Bible to the point where now it's, it's speaking back to me. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. He will make my enemies my footstool. That's in the Bible. He won't put more on you than you can bear. That's in the Bible. The Bible tells us to take on his yoke. His yoke is easy, and his burden is light. My spirit starts flooding my mind with the scriptures that i read in the past and that's when i start to feel warm and then that's when i start to feel jesus has never left me he's always been there and that's when it, it, it starts to kick in it's like god you have never left me nor forsaken me nor will you ever because your word says you are not a liar you're not like me you're not flawed you're, you're not a liar and that's when my body starts to transform because my mind is renewed my mind is renewed by God's word and his love and his mercy and his grace and then I start to realize that I could speak to my situations that are not as though they are because God spoke to things that was not as though they were when you look at the creation of the earth there was nothing out here he said let there be light there now we have a separation of light and darkness because he spoke that into existence and when i realized the power of life and death in my tongue the bible says is that we have power in our mouths the bible says that we can speak to a mountain and tell it to move and that joke ain't got no other choice but to get the freak up and move so with all that being said i've come to the realization that i am a little G. I'm God. I can speak to my situation that is not as though it are because eventually it's going to catch up. It's going to catch up to my words because God said, let there be light. And guess what? Light caught up and it became in existence. <laughs> it may not happen at the time that I want it, but trust and believe God comes right on time every single time. So y'all be careful with these people out here. Keep faith, man. Speak into your situations speak life into your situations and you start to see that change comes because your mind is positive your words are positive right be mindful of the people out here don't put your trust and faith in man because it's one thing i learned not only through experience but with three reading the bible the bible says that man 
we're like grass, man. We wither. We come, we here for a season, and then we wither away. Why would I put my faith, my trust, my hope in something that's so temporary? It makes no sense. That's why God tells us, he said, don't put your trust in man, don't put your faith in man, because they'll, they'll fail you every single time. And for those who have experienced it, you'll see that every single time you put faith in man, you were failed every single time. The one person that you could put your faith into, you could put your trust into, you could put your hope into, you could literally put your everything into, and that's Jesus Christ, I'm telling you. He has never left me nor forsaken me. He has never failed me. And he ain't going to start. Because <laughs> the Bible says he is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So if he wasn't a failure thousands and millions of years ago, he ain't a failure in present tense. And he won't be a failure in the future if I ever make it to there. You see what I'm saying? Don't put your trust in man. Man will fail you every single time. Put your trust in God. If you feel that you have not had that support system that you need in, in, in life, it's cool. It's all right. God can feel that hurt or he can feel that void and he can remove that pain. Because I've experienced it. Whether it was through community, whether it was through, you know, family. Everybody's experienced it to some degree. All our situations don't look the same, but we experienced it to some degree. It does get better. You know what I'm saying? It does. You have to manifest it. Like I said, I don't know nothing about no no vibrations and no universe because I don't give recognition to nothing but Jesus. If it ain't God, I ain't got no parts in that. You know what I'm saying? It is Jesus who makes these things happen. It is Jesus. There is no mother freaking karma. It's called you reap what you sow. Manifestation right god allows us to go through stuff because it builds our faith to trust in him every single time we go through something without us going through it a lot of us won't even pray we won't even ask god for help so he allows us to go through stuff because it not only builds our faith but it builds our endurance and our strength emotionally to the point where i'm telling you i was able to go through my criminal trial for almost two years my criminal case for almost two years and every time i went into court and i dealt with them people i walked in there with my head held high I'm, the odds were against me i'm telling you i can't make it any more clear when i put this documentary out y'all see the odds were against me from the from the from the beginning to the end but god turned it around because i kept speaking it into existence i will not be convicted dismissal is in my mother freaking favor it's happening i spoke it into existence i spoke those things that are not as though they are and guess what i'm sitting here with no criminal convictions you know what i'm saying and everything that was taken back or taken from me is being returned back <laughs> like it is what it is and when you got Jesus on your side, when you got the, the power of the Most High God, when you backed by the blood of Jesus, I'm telling you, there is nothing that can come in your way. There is no mountain, no body of water, no army, no, no unclean spirit that can separate you from the love of Christ. I'm telling you, I am telling you, be mindful. The Bible says, watch as well as pray. Be mindful. There's all types of foolery out here you got people that come their wolves and sheep clothing they come with flattering lips they mother freaking gas you up with all this this good talk the bible says try the spirit by the spirit you want to know what spirit they are of make sure that you are of the right spirit and try their spirit by the right spirit i'm telling you god exposes it he exposes it all so keep your head up Troubles don't last always. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. You crying right now. You going through right now. But I'm telling you, eventually it gets better. You just got to hold on. <laughs> the race is not given to the swift nor the strong, but to the one that endures to the end. Peace.